Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing okay. Today's video I thought I'd film a little chatty video and it is going to be about smear tests. I think it's a very taboo subject and it's definitely not spoken about enough online. I feel like for me, I didn't know a lot about it so I thought I would film this video to share exactly what a smear test is, my experience getting it done and a few tips along the way that I have learned for next time. So we'll get straight into it. I thought I'd bring it up on my phone of exactly what a smear test is and how it's done just so you guys, for anyone out there who doesn't know what it is, I'm just following it word for word off here so I don't get anything wrong pretty much. Um, so it is, your nurse or doctor will use an instrument called a speculum to gently open up your vagina so they can see your cervix. They'll then use a small soft brush to take a sample of your cells from your cervix and then from there they'll send this sample on to the lab to be tested. So what does a smear test test for? So basically it tests for precancerous cells or any cells that are changing or have changed um, and that is what the brush is used for so they'll collect the cells on the brush and it'll be tested to see if anything has changed or cell any cells don't look right and pretty much for cervical cancer and that is what a smear test is for. So obviously it is super important to get a smear test because you never know what your body's going through, you never know if it's going to change and it is just important to get it done so that you know you're safe and you're going to be healthy. So moving on to my experience with a smear test. So I was going to actually vlog on the day but I was just super nervous, I really just couldn't. I just thought I'm going to just take it easy and I'm just gonna try my best and go in and get it done and I'm so happy I did. I am 24 so I got my letter at the start of January this year because I turned 25 in June um, and I know that from 24 and a half you get it done and then obviously I think it's, is it every three years? I'm not too sure, I might have to research that, but I think it is every three years you get your smear test done. Um, so when I got my letter, I actually lost it the month later. So I was a bit worried because I was like, who do I call? Like, do I call the GP? Do I call my um, hospital, like my local hospital? I didn't know what to do. Um, but luckily I did ring my doctors and they pretty much just booked me in for the week later. It was super fast, super quick, um, which made me more nervous because I was like, okay, I'm not really ready for this. I had mine done about three weeks ago now, which actually reminds me I need to get the results. I feel like they send the results on letters but I know that she said, did say that it can be delayed so I might just have to ring up and just check the letters been sent out um, but I do think if anything was of worry they would ring you as well following the letter so I think I'm okay. So I was super super nervous going into my smear test. I did feel a bit sick, I was a bit worried, I was overthinking everything. I have anxiety so I was very anxious, I just didn't know what to expect and to be honest I didn't really do any research beforehand of going into my appointment. The only thing that I did watch was um, Zoe Sorg did a video of her smear test experience, I think it was her second one, um, and she vlogged the whole thing. Now it's a very helpful video so I will link that below if you are interested or want to see more about it because she actually vlogs her getting it done so you get to see like the whole thing of it and I think it's amazing um, and I feel like if it wasn't for that video I probably wouldn't have got it done because I feel like it's a very easy thing to put off like you'll be like oh I'll do it next week I'll do it next month and then next minute you're 28 or you're 29 or 30 and you've left it all this time and I do know that the nurse said obviously the longer you leave it it can become quite dangerous because you don't know exactly what's going on in your body Body, you need to get it checked and that's why it's super important and um, so yeah her video really helped me and I'm super thankful for that because that is the reason I went to get mine done that is the reason I had confidence to go get it done I had to push myself to get it done I will tell you that but the whole thing from start to finish went very well obviously being anxious and nervous isn't the best and it doesn't make you feel great but after I had it done I was so relieved that it was done and I felt very proud of myself and I feel like as well because it is so important I felt good I was like I've got it done that's good so I did actually go into work and my appointment was late afternoon which I feel like if you are a very nervous person maybe try and get it booked for the morning because then you can get it out of the way and you're not waiting around I feel like that's what made me super nervous because I had to wait till around 4 p.m. and then get it done. But the nurse that I had was super lovely. She basically was asking how I was feeling about it because obviously it was my first one. She was checking I was okay. She was asking me if I had any questions, which was gonna be one of my tips. Definitely ask 
any question whether it's a stupid to be fair no question is stupid but whether you feel like it's a stupid question just ask it so i asked her what was going to be used in the procedure like what did the brush look like what did the speculum look like exactly what is going to happen because i was so nervous i needed to know everything that was going to happen so then i could put myself at ease and she was brilliant she told me everything about it she told me what it's for she showed me the little soft brush um yeah literally everything she made me feel really really comfortable so when we went over to like the table you get give it's like a bed that you lie on and then obviously you have to put your legs up at the bottom um and that is where they'll use a light and obviously put the speculate speculum in and then that is when they'll start with the brush and putting it in to collect the cells now from start to finish of the actual procedure i'm not even joking i think it took around 20 seconds it was super super fast and i know that might be different for some people i feel like it definitely depends on the person that you have like the nurse but it is a very fast procedure i feel like anything from 30 seconds to a minute i feel like that is the most it probably will be i feel like it wouldn't be any longer than that because it's just quickly in and quickly out now how did i feel about it when the brush was collecting the cells i did feel a bit weird like it definitely didn't hurt it wasn't uncomfortable as such where it hurt me it was more weird uncomfortable if that makes sense like i didn't because i've not had it done before it just felt very weird and i think because i was overthinking about it i felt a bit sick from it but it didn't hurt at all and it was so quick i said to her that was like too quick i didn't realize how quick it would be because everyone told me it would be really fast and i just didn't believe them i thought no it's gonna at least take five minutes which is too long but I'm not even joking, it was really fast, which was really good. We then sat down and she basically told me it would take around two to three weeks for the results to be sent off and sent back to me. And then I think a letter would be sent out. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. But yeah, it went really fast. There was definitely nothing to worry about. But obviously for your first time, it's understandable that you would worry. But this is your sign to book your smear test if you haven't already. Because I can tell you now, as someone who worries a lot, who overthinks everything and is scared of any pain it really didn't hurt it just might feel a bit weird because a brush is inside you collecting cells like it it does feel a bit weird but other than that it just doesn't hurt and after it i was like that really wasn't anything to worry about so i'm super proud of myself for doing it so we're gonna move on to my tips for smear tests i did quickly write some down so i don't forget so for my smear test i wore a very long skirt so like a midi skirt and just a top and a jacket because i feel like I felt like if I was to go in and have to take my whole pants off, I just wouldn't feel comfortable and it's very easy just to quickly pull your skirt up, take your knickers off and then it'll like be over and done with quite fast and you can just stand up and your skirt falls down. I just think it's a, it's a lot easier than wearing pants or jeans or anything like that and you feel a bit more comfortable as well because your skirt kind of like covers you up at the like the top of your legs. But yeah, I just think that that really helped me feel a bit more comfortable within myself being there um, wearing a longer skirt. So my next tip is tell the nurse how you are feeling if you are nervous. So like I said in my experience part, I felt really nervous, I felt sick. I told her as I came in that that's how I felt because it was my first time and she just completely made me feel at ease by telling me exactly what's going to be done um which really helped and it does help so don't be ashamed to say that you are scared of it because it's completely normal to feel like that um and you shouldn't be ashamed of how you feel um so definitely tell the nurse if that is how you feel the next one is ask questions of what is being used so that is something i did and i'm really glad i did because she showed me in person what is being used and do you know what it's very interesting to see what it looks like as well so like she showed me the little brush as i said um and i feel like again it's important to see what's being used because then i don't know how to explain it but because you know what's happening you just feel a bit better and it's like it's not the unknown like you know what's going on after asking questions so they are my tips and i know there's only a couple but even if it helps a few of you out there struggling to book your smear test then that will mean the world to me again check zoe sugg's video out because that that video is so amazing i feel like there needs to be more videos like that who knows maybe in three years i'll do a little vlog and i will film my smear test for you guys and help anyone out there so that's everything from today's video if you have any questions at all regarding the smear test comment them down below and i'll be sure to answer them for you guys and thank you so much for watching as always and i'll see you very soon in the next video